Hey, what's up, fam? What's up, fam? This is your big homie, Big Girl 1948, fam. And welcome back to Mythical Ragnarok Evolved PVE, fam. That's right, fam. I'm chilling out here with the family. That's right, fam. Now, today, fam, we're doing a showcase on, as you can see, you probably can, can see them through the, my Griffin's tail. Two dinos that I tamed yesterday called Wanderers, Wanderer Drakes, fam. And they are amazing. Now, I got the fam back here, so... Anyway, let's get through this intro, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, everybody. We're back. And fam, check this out. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably saying, hey, girl, what? Yo, you look too good to be doing Anyway, fam, you'll probably say, man, what the hell is these, girl? Well, fam, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toggle this right here. She is a divine uh, Xena. He is a dark paladin. That's Sid the cook over there, but he's a orc fighter. And we got the dark paladin there. We got the man over there. Vanguard the orc. And we got this wind cat. See, fam, we just got more. Now, the only one of these guys here that's not tameable, fam. Let me toggle that off. Only one that's not tameable are the war fighters. All right. Now, there's others that are not tameable. These guys here, they can all be tamed with this right here. You have to have an NPC. You have to already have something. Like, in fact, let me show you before I even show you. That. Over here. Ah, right here. Now these guys here are pretty easy to tame. Man. She just put them. I saw that too. Not in the video. Man. But these guys here, the, the, the centaurs, they're pretty easy to tame. And after you tamed them, right, you take them out, you craft one of these right here. Recruiter badges. Now, let's go. Let's type badge. Right? Recruiter badge one metal ingot i crafted a lot of them but you you take that you craft this and then you also want to craft let's see let's type divine because this is the only way you're going to trick you want to craft a divine aura portion po <laughs> divine aura aura potion and what this does it will mimic whatever spell or aura these creatures have like the uh the elves and other other tameable creatures uh from the pyrea mod certain ones have a certain energy or spell on them but when you go up to them it may say passive tame but when you go up to them fam they aggro or they tell you they not ready well when they're in feral mode what you want to do is you want to go ahead and drink I think let me make sure I get this right sometimes you have to wait till they're no longer in feral mode which may take a couple of days or you can craft that divine aura potion drink it and your energy the energy aura that you will have will have them thinking that you're one of them then whatever taming food you have you put it in your last slot and bad ale you go from there all right so that's that right there fam I'm gonna leave these guys out here now Hold on, bruh. Hey, they're beasts, y'all. I gotta take them out and let y'all see them in action, y'all. But uh, fam. Then we got my man right here. Yo, let's toggle him real quick, fam. He is the chim the, the chimera, fam. And fam, I knocked him out about what two, three weeks ago. Now let's see. Does he need a saddle? Nope, he is rideable. Goodness. All right. Look at that, fam. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Came old, baby. Man, look at that tail, y'all. Holy crap. I want to get off and look at the tail, fam. All right, fam. That's crazy right there, guys. 
Whoa, whoa. That's crazy, guys. Crazy. Get out of K mode. My man's tail keeps glitching. But that's wild, y'all. That is wild, wild, wild. I want to get a screenshot of that. Jeez. So that's the Chimera. Now, uh, now I have no idea how many levels he has. Fifty-five, bro. Let's go ahead and pump some. Uh, that's my man Butch. Pump some levels into him. There we go. Now, stamina up, movement speed. And okay, so let's hop on him. So let's see if we can take him out, fam. All right, let's go kill some stuff, fam. that on so we can see what he's hitting at. Bruh. So we see what he's hitting at with that. Now let's see what abilities he got. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, not bad, guys. Not bad. So if you got these right here, fam, as a matter of fact, let's take them back so we can see if he's breedable. But if you got one of these, fam, hey, you got you a good team, fam. You just level them up and let him do his damage. Now, I wonder what they look like Brett breeding. You know what I'm saying? Well, not what they look like breeding, but uh, I'm curious. behavior fam you can mate them nice jeez so that's your chimera fam that's your chimera now the ones we really after today fam is these bad boys right here bad girl and bad boy now I changed his sexuality yesterday and I want to check something. So you cannot mate them. Man, that sucks. So check this out. Kind of, hey. Bruh, am I too heavy? Okay. All right. Let's get my man lined up and get him lined up. Oh man, fam, movement speed. All right, so we got that. Okay. Now, I'm going to hop off real quick. I'm going to go empty my inventory. And I'll be right back, guys. All right, fam. We're back. And fam, here they are. The Wanderer Drakes. Now, there's a tale of lore behind these bad boys here. Now, from what the mod developers say, the Wandering Drakes are a special species of drake that appear to be closer related to the 
half-blooded dragons rather than dragons themselves. However, their actual relatives are rock drakes, despite their differences. At first, at first, both species sharing things in common. They're both capable of camouflage and lunging attacks. Of which, fam, of which we gonna check into that, fam. I want to know more about the lunging attacks and the camouflage. So, now they are the temperament. They are very hostile guys don't fool yourself and think that you can just walk up and passive tame these because it's not gonna happen they're very hostile and if you can knock them out if you tame them you've got to knock them out they're a knockout team they're not passive now if you in order to tame two of these or one of these period fam you have to have the mod and the mod that you gotta have on is the dragons evolved mod now, as you can see, they kind of look like a cross between a giant Palovia and a rock drake's head or a dragon's head. <laughs> it's kind of weird looking. But yeah, they kind of, they do have that kind of look. But like I said, fam, now from what I hear, they're pretty good in the water, which I haven't tested that out yet. But um, their attacks are a left attack, a right attack, a C button, X button, which is a cleanse. Now, if you have like buffs on you, you can you can use that attack and it'll debuff you. Double bite, which deals 28% damage, uh, and it has a camouflage, which is left control, and I think you it has a Q, which is a claw attack, and R, which is a roar. So, with that said, I think you and I probably need to hop on one of these bad boys, right? Now. Nah. What do they say? All right, let's see. So from what I hear, there's a C attack. No, first let's do the left click. That's that bite attack that they was talking about, right? It deals 32% damage, right? Uh, it doesn't destroy armor from what I'm hearing. It ignores armor, uh, just like the Carno. Then there's the right click, which deals one, I mean, 31% damage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lunge right there. That's weird. Wow, that's a strange lunge, fam. Then there's X. And that right there gets rid of the debuff. You know what I'm saying? Right? Then there's L and control. So you would hit L. Bam, fam. Oh, my goodness, fam. Now, look at that. Fam, he's invisible. And X, if I heard right, L, control. Now, as a matter of fact, how in the heck do we get out of that? Let's see. Mm. Now, I saw Froggy Man do this, right? So, X. Ah, ah. Invisible. So, you would. You would hit Control and you hit L. Now, why is my keyboard acting crazy, fam? I do not care to see that. L, Control. Bam. Or maybe you have to do both at the same time. But X gets you out of that. Now, you, this only lasts for a couple of seconds. But as you can see. That is weird, y'all. Let's go over here and attack something. Ah, when you start attacking stuff, fam. Ah, okay. That's what that is. So when you're in attack mode, you become visible again. But you saw, in fact, fam, let's try this. Bam. Now, I don't know why that keeps opening up, fam. But if you notice, I'm here. Even though I'm on top, I'm, I'm invisible. Let's run up on this right here. Fam. 
saying, I'm invisible. They don't even see me, fam, but watch what happens when I do that. Bam, as soon as I did an attack move, fam, I became visible again. I like these. So if you want an army of these guys, you're going to have to go and tame them in order to get that. All right. Now, let's see. Little things, little uh, other little things that, to know about these bad boys. As a matter of fact, let's get off, fam. Let's hop on this. Yeah. Other things to know about them, fam, is, uh, let's see. A wanderer drake is immune to radiation, venom, claw attacks, or claw poison. Poison levels 1 and 2. Uh, wanderer drakes may attempt to ambush you when in the wild. And when you're far away from a group. They do not possess cooldowns on camouflaging, right? So once you go into camouflage mode, fam, there's no cooldown period. You just hit X or you do an attack move to another creature and you become visible, all right? They have very, they have a very high jump, but still receive uh, fall damage. They take seven times damage from trikes, from a, but from a trike's uh, ramming attack. So you got to be careful with that. All right. Uh, they, from what I'm, another thing they say, they say that feral, ferals and wanderers, uh, that is feral wanderers and, you know, and regular wanderers, they now give each other a rivalry buff when near each other, which increases their damage by 10% and their resistance by 10% as well. So fam, these are pretty cool creatures to have around guys. I don't know. We may have to get us a couple more. Maybe like maybe like four more or something like that, fam. Yeah, I think that'll be I think that would be really, really cool, guys. Four more of these bad boys and it is on. We got you a crazy army, guys. So with that said, guys, I'm gonna stand right here between them guys. So, with that said, fam, this is your big homie, Big Girl 1948, standing here with the Wanderer Drakes from the Dragons Evolve My Fam, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, fam. Yes, sir.